you know, you know what though? Um, before I get into a few topics that I want to um, speak with you guys on this morning, um, you know, it's so crazy because literally I was packing stuff. I've been packing stuff every day this week. And I'm so thankful. So thank you to everyone who continues to support 7th Avenue. But I was packing orders this week. And so when I'm printing labels and I'm packing and I see like y'all are buying the sweatshirts, y'all are buying the 7th Avenue t-shirts. Um, I'm like, man, the support is just so surreal and it's so amazing because we all know when you get out and about what's going to happen, people are going to look at the website, go on their phones, go to the website or whatever the case may be. So I am so, 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 so thankful and appreciative of you guys um, because y'all have, I, this week, I packed a lot of body stuff because a lot of y'all took advantage of the body special. But I also packed, um, I noticed it was a lot of the travel bags and all of your face products will go in that travel bag. That's how I travel. Um, so I had a lot of the travel bag, a lot of the sweatshirts and t-shirts that were going out this week. So I'm appreciative and so, so thankful for you guys. Um, so let's get into it, okay? Um, I'm going to talk about um, three particular things. Um, that I feel, you guys know I love you guys to death. Um, you know, I appreciate y'all's support. I appreciate you guys, you know, just the way women have come together throughout this whole journey and to see women supporting each other and women having each other's back has been absolutely amazing. So I'm always going to, I don't ever want you guys to feel like you are misled or that, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> that you are being misled. Thank you, Ninja bigo you bought a badge thank you that you guys are misled or you know so i'm i'm always going to you know want you guys to know what's going on and what's up so anyway long story short three things that i want to talk about custody case um um tank and um um yeah, how I'm mad about these cravings that I ain't been able to get into. That was the third thing. I was like, man, I want to go to Connors. I want to go eat. I want to go do the stuff I want to do. But anyway, we'll get to that. And the importance of sticking to what you're doing um, when you're saying you want to do something, sticking to that and making it happen, okay? So that's why I'm going to talk about the cravings things and still not going backwards, but staying on my journey and my focus. Um, so first things first, let's get this out the way. Roxy, thank you. I see you bought a badge. Roxy357, thank you so much. Um, so let's get to the first thing, biggest thing first, custody case. I love that you guys are <laughs> looking forward to me being victorious, but guys, there are a lot of um there's a lot of information that's been out that's not accurate. There hasn't been a decision. We haven't even really started trial yet. We haven't, not really, we haven't. Um, so I want you guys to know that. You know what I'm saying? Like I appreciate y'all praying and please continue to pray. I appreciate y'all praying. I know some of y'all been DMing me telling me you guys are fasting. Thank you, Peanut9102, for buying a badge. Um, but I would be um, you know, remiss not to let you guys know what's going on i don't want y'all misled in any way so the fact of the matter is the fact of the matter is is that we have not started trial yet just so y'all know <laughs> um just for you by nakesia sales bought a badge thank you um i've turned in everything i need to turn in and that i was asked to turn in and um it takes more than one person doing that so we have not started trial <laughs> Um, but please continue to pray and, um, you know, eventually we'll get there. So I just wanted y'all to know that, like I said, I don't want y'all to be misled and it's a lot of reports out and I, like, I don't think any of it was intentionally, um, you know, trying to stir up any trouble or just give false information. I think people were just hopeful. You know what I'm saying? I think people were just hopeful and that's okay. Like I'm not offended by it, I'm not bothered by it or anything, but I feel like I owe it to my supporters and my fans to let y'all know what's going on when it comes to that. So that piece. Second piece that I want to talk about is um, my son. Um, so you guys know, especially if you've been following me, um, for a while, right? You guys know that I love um, sharing parenting techniques. If you've been coming on my live, hi, Brooklyn Winford, thank you for buying a badge. Um, if you have been coming on my live, then you know that I'm constantly talking about 
sharing things that happen with when it comes to me and my kids and how I handle the situation. Usually I'm saying, hey, you don't have to do all that yelling. Don't let them get your blood pressure up. You know what I'm saying? Talk to your kids. Have conversations with your kids. You know, I share stuff like that all the time. So if you've been following me, you know that. Yesterday was another one of those moments. Eva Hardy dot November 20 bought a bash. Thank you so much. Um, so Yesterday was another one of those moments. Um, first, let me say my son is an amazing, amazing. And y'all have heard me and other people brag on him. He is one of the, that's why he got best manners last year. He is one of the most respectful. He's going to open the door. He's going to make sure his sisters are good. He's going to make sure his mom is good. Anybody that comes to this house, all of them are always like, oh my gosh, Tank is such a gentleman. He's going to be like, he, he will ask you 50 million times, you okay? Even when my manager is here, Miss Dawn, you okay? You need anything? You want something to drink? Um, that's just him. He's an amazing kid. Um, Landis Jackson, 21, thank you for buying a badge. He's an amazing kid, okay? Um, but what I will say is he's still a kid. And I think some of the narrative that I've seen, not narr narrative, I'll say, but some of the comments, comments that I have seen and people have been sending me, I don't know if people understand, um, for one, the point of the entire post was, one, the, the big things people miss, intuitively growing where your intuition is on point. That was a big thing that nobody missed. And I talk all the time about spending time by myself. I'm stronger spiritually than I've ever been in my whole life. Um, and the way, the things that I've done to get to that point. So a lot of people that went over you guys' heads, totally, um, some of you, M. Stevens bought a bash, thank you. Um, then the other piece of it that I think you guys missed was, you know, I didn't have to, he didn't hide the pen. I didn't have to take 10 minutes to get out of him what he was doing with a pen. Um, it took uh, maybe not even 10 seconds, really. I said 10 seconds, it probably didn't even take 10 seconds. But the, the, the purpose in that piece of it was that my child knew not to lie to me because he didn't. I asked him, what are you doing with the pen? It was, uh... I know you was doing something with a pen, what you was doing with a pen. And then he showed me the paper. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you talk about a kid being honest, um, a kid being willing to, you know, even though he didn't know, he could have gotten in trouble. He could have gotten on punishment. He didn't know. But I appreciate, and y'all ain't got to appreciate it because it ain't y'all's child. But I appreciate the fact that when I ask my child something, he's going to tell me the truth. Even if that meant he might have been about to get in trouble. He told me the truth. And some of y'all skipped all over that piece. Skipped all the way over it. And not only that, but then the next piece of the lesson was, I didn't fuss. I ain't yell. You don't have to do all of that with no kid. You don't have to. I had a conversation with him. Not saying you ain't going to sometimes because we, you know, sometimes we all be frustrated and tired. But most of the time, you ain't got to be doing all that yelling and fussing and stuff. And so I, I simply had a conversation, explained what it was. You know, don't do that. This is why you don't do things like that. 22 Nunu, thank you for the badge. And then we went on with our day. And the, the next slide in my story was us dancing and rapping together like we had already been doing before I stopped to get gas. So the thing is, he had asked me like a day before for these games. Could he go and get some games? So we then went to the game store and got the games. And guess what? In that moment, I said to him, see, son, all you got to do is ask. All you have to do is ask. You don't ever have to feel like you might have to sneak to do something. You can ask. Um, what, you know, and I don't know, again, what, <laughs> maybe some of you parented in a different age, but for Generation X, let me tell y'all a little bit. These kids do Roblox. They do um, Fortnite. All these little games be asking for you to go to next levels and get certain little, I guess, special powers, whatever they be doing. They ask for card information. <laughs> so, whereas back in when you were a child, you know what I'm saying? And even for me, it might have been on some, I took an extra 
pair of clothes to school to change when I got to school or I took a different top to school to wear or maybe I know my mama don't want me to wear no lip gloss but I'm gonna sneak this lip gloss to school or oh I went here and played in my mama's blush right before I walked to the bus station knowing my mama don't want me to wear any blush like it's things that kids just do you know what I'm saying and try <laughs> try to get away with however over generations those things change so this generation is about games roblox fortnite sheen <laughs> all of that okay <laughs> ordering stuff online that's what it is it's just different but we still have to be willing and understand where kids are what this generation you know what they what they do and then correct it that's it. I had so many people in my DMs talking about, girl, my niece had got my card and I had a $400 charge because they kept charging me. It's like I have so many DMs of stuff like that. And when it happened, you know, it happened, you know, it was kind of like, okay, it was kind of funny, but it was like, I'm going to make this a teachable moment. And that's what it was all about. So for anyone you want to do, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, everybody is trying to figure out this whole thing parenting and what that is like do what you want to do in your home that's not a problem with that somebody said i sneak lip gloss for sure point it's the same thing deception you know you ain't supposed to have that lip gloss but you took it but again what matters to me is that when i asked him he gave me an answer he didn't hide no paper he didn't hide no pen he told me what he did and showed me the paper <laughs> so i think that we need to see what those bigger pictures is that pictures are when it comes to um, the lesson to be taught and the lesson to be learned, period. Now, um, over here, how I run it when it comes to my kids, because you may run it differently when it comes to yours. I don't speak. This this is, has been the most disturbing piece of me, some of the little commentary, so I'm going to address it. Um, I don't speak negative things over my children. I don't. So for those of you who are taking something a nine-year-old does to go buy some games or think he finna go buy some games, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he's going to be a thief. Oh, he's... Shut up. Shut up. I'm going to say it just like that. Shut up. Okay? And maybe you grew up where your parents spoke stuff over you. You're going to be just like your mom. You're going to be just like your daddy. I don't know because I wasn't there. But I don't allow that over here. Okay? <laughs> I don't allow that over here. And that's some of the issues is we be so quick to speak negative things over our children. Then we wonder why when they get older, they're a certain way because you've been using your tongue to say negative stuff their whole life to them. Just being honest. <laughs> so that was that was a little much. That was ridiculous. Not even cool. Y'all don't even y'all don't even be really telling folks to shut up, but I'm gonna tell y'all on that one. Shut that one up period like that's ridiculous um we're not finna make it no oh but so you finna be like this or this how you better watch him you don't shut up because what if everybody was saying well they should have been watching you whenever you was laying your window up as a kid sneaking out 